unwritten rules? I don't know. That's a, that's a different question then. <laughs> unwritten rules in sprint car racing. I don't really know that, that there is any. Uh, I think the respect part of things um, is, is probably the biggest unwritten rule. Well, we don't have rear view mirrors and we don't have radio. So, you know, showing respect. Uh, maybe back in the day uh, when I started, there was probably some unwritten rules. Uh, when it comes to racing with guys, you, you learn how to earn their respect. Respect. Comedian Rodney Dangerfield made it the trademark of his stand-up career. That's the story of my life. No respect. Never get no respect at all. No respect at all. Respect. The legendary queen of soul, Aretha Franklin, turned it into an anthem. Respect. Driver say it's the most important of sprint car racing's unwritten rules. You know, you didn't walk up and demand anything. You didn't walk up and tell them who you were and say, hey, I'm going to come and kick your ass. <laughs> that didn't happen, you know, in the Steve Kinzer era. How do you rebound from bad luck? We got a lot less problems than the nines got, I think. <laughs> but today, it's something that's um, it's pretty prevalent. As a young man entering the sport, you know, I didn't understand, uh, you know, how that worked. And, you know, didn't understand some of the veterans. Uh, you know, they weren't very friendly to me, uh, you know, as a young kid coming on the tour. But uh, it's something that you have to, you know, surely gain over time, you know, with your actions. I always say actions speak louder than words. And, uh, you know, it's something that you have to, you know, you have to learn uh, you know, what respect means on the Outlaw Tour uh, and how to gain it from the veterans. And, you know, it's a lot goes into how you race and how you act. And, you know, um, you know, we have a young group that's coming up through and, and you can see, you know, them learning. And I feel like, man, I was just there not very long ago and, and I kind of went through a lot of those same things. So I definitely understand uh, there's a process uh, that you have to develop and a skill set that you have to develop, uh, you know, to gain that respect uh, over the course of time with the World of Outlaws. I think that when you when you dig into the the respect issue, I just look back from from what I learned. I know that if I went and drove in the side of Steve Kinzer or if I went and drove across his nose, um, I, I knew what was going to happen. Um, guys like that are so good they can they can get you upside down and not even look like they hit you or touch you. And it's not that you do it intentionally, but um, it's just the nature of the beast. So, how do today's World of Outlaws drivers show respect to each other? It's probably a good question for me, I, I, because I've been sort of that, you know, labeled a little bit as that aggressive driver, and sometimes I think maybe I've, you know, upset some people and caused, you know, things to go in the opposite direction for that. So, um, you know, this year and last year in particular, actually even the first year that I joined JJR, I really tried to go out of my way to be a better race car driver, although still be aggressive and win races because ultimately that's what's important to my race team and to me in general in my career. But uh, just race people, give people plenty of room. If I show you respect, you show me respect. And if I don't, I don't get it back. You know, I think traveling up and down the road, we we race so much together that, that there is an unwritten rule of respect there. And you know, if, if I run into you, then I expect it's gonna come back at some stage. Uh, I think just racing clean uh, is the best way to, to gain respect and um, you know it's different now even you know this will be my seventh year and, and the faces change and uh, there's only a few of the old timers out here so uh, to me I want their respect and um, you know and, and have it among your peers too so you got to respect each other we race each other 85 times a year, so you have to earn it, and, and once you earn it, um, you gotta keep it. You know, we all have a, a kind of sixth sense. We've all been doing it, you know, long enough. Uh, you you kind of know where the guy, you know, the guys are around you. So, uh, you know, there's there's kind of some blocking that takes place, and there's some, you know, there's some give and take that needs to take place. There's a lot of young kids that that have the backing to do this, and they have the the talent. They have the the ability they have they have what it takes it's um it's just being able to put it all together on a, on a nightly basis and be consistent doing that and be able to take the hits along the way i think that's something that um people do, overlook a lot you know everybody's gonna gas it and gas it and gas it but what happens when you have that first big one that first big one could change the way you you look at it we've all had it we're all gonna do it and we're all gonna continue to do it but 
it, it might change your perspective on it and it might change the way you your racing style is huge start for david gravel gravel driving away from him donnie shots gaining ground on david gravel here comes your race for the lead down the back straight away donnie shots to the inside you've got a new leader off of turn four donnie shots returns to victory lane at the knoxville nationals donnie's the best here uh, for a while and i i feel like I, i'm just as good but he got me tonight you know i, I think that donnie shots uh shows respect on the racetrack. Um, if you push him around, he's gonna bark back and, and definitely not get pushed around. But I think just racing drivers clean, uh, racing drivers the right way, and how they race you as well. If somebody gives you a bad slide job, you wanna get back at them and in some way or another. I say, uh, yeah, it speaks on the racetrack. I see guys like Donnie and Brad and David, you give so much room every night, and I feel like that respect is reciprocated night in night out and so I'm trying to you know put my best foot forward now to do that same thing you know being a younger guy I feel like it's taking me a little longer to learn that but um, I, you know, I'm putting my best foot forward too. Some drivers are quick to point out there's a difference between showing respect and being seen as a pushover. I think it's it's a it's a happy medium uh, between kind of bowing down a little bit to to just recognize the success and the the name that they present uh, when they come to the track each night, but also displaying that um, that you're here to try to accomplish the same things that they're trying to accomplish. So I think it's a it's finding a good mix between those two that uh, you want to be respected, but you also want to know want them to know that uh, you're not there to play games. Just try and race them clean. You know, I, I try and race everybody how they race me. So try not to get in the way. Try not try not to you know ruffle too many feathers. But at the same time, you can't be bold because you let them get away with it once, and it's a pretty much a lifetime pass. So you got to be respectful but aggressive at the same time. As hard as the racing is nowadays, and as aggressive as everyone is, you, you have to um, race with respect. I think if you um, you know you can race hard and give people room. I think, you know, now you see it a lot, you know, people, you know, chopping people or, or running people under the fence. You're not going to earn any respect by racing guys dirty. So um, I feel like I've done a decent job at, at racing guys how I want to be raced. I think you earn respect just by racing, uh, racing the drivers clean. You know, you can race hard, but there's a difference between hard racing and hard clean racing. So just racing hard and clean, you know, knowing when a slider is going to clear or not. Um, given just a little, uh, just enough room that you know it makes them give a decision to, to lift or or uh, try and squeeze uh, squeeze in between you and the wall. You know, at the end of the day, it's it's two racers or it's 24 guys out on the track all competing for one spot, and that's that's the win. So um, you can't give an inch with the outlaws, but you can be respectful. A 10-time series champion, Shots believes it's easy to earn respect on the track, and he's willing to help the next generation of drivers achieve it. You know, I'm probably guilty of uh, criticizing a lot of young guys for a lot of things. And uh, I feel like it's my right to do that. And, um, but we do live in times that change. Uh, I'm reminded of that every day. Even though those times change, I still enjoy my position in the sport and I enjoy uh, racing with the younger guys because that's what this series has consisted of, you know, over the years is, is ever-changing guard, uh, the best of the best. And it, and it continues to propel everybody to new levels and keep that competition there. And that's why it's called the World of Outlaws. That's why it travels coast to coast. And that's why people come to see it.